Okay, look what's here. It is DJI Osmo. There it is, says the box. And let's have another look here. And there's the back of it. Camera sealed up. Nice little box. Right, well, let's open it up and have another look at the actual Osmo itself. Okay, right, so I've got a little packet, and in that packet is a um, quick start guide. Declaration of conformity, disclaimer, safety guidelines, intelligent battery. Right, and then I've got that in there. Let's have another look. So, ooh. Oh, hello. Something in there. Something in there. And a cool little case it comes in. And uh, empty. Right. Well, let's open up, I presume, at the bottom of this one. Which is all cool. We got a battery charger. Sort of a cradle thing. Now, this is the battery um, in here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna open that up now and have a look. Okay, we've got a battery here, and let's. It's got a little seal thing over there. Remove that. Fully charge the battery before its first use. I'm hoping it's got some charge in it, unless there's a USB cable here. I wonder what that little tab must be to pull it out. I guess. And so that's the charging block. Uh, there you go. Right, and then that just engages in there, but it looks pretty straightforward. So that's plugged in. Um, don't think you can charge it by USB. I imagine it requires too much power, maybe. So have a look what we got here. Um, little something. A strap. And a power cable, UK, which is good. Oh, and something else. Oh, and a lanyard, which presumably is for wrapping it around your wrist, I would guess. That's what I would guess, anyway. Put it around there and then connect it to the camera itself and then you drop it. It won't matter because it's connected up, so that's cool. Right, and this is the thing, obviously, that everyone's interested in. Two zips either side. And one zips into there. Ah, that's the little bits you can put the carry handle on, which is on there, if you really wanted to. That zip goes all the way around. Uh, oh, very nice. And there it is. In there. Okay, so I'm going to look at this then. Okay, well, one of the questions I wasn't actually sure about um, was whether it came with this part of this, this part with it. I wasn't sure if that was extra, so I didn't I didn't order it. I'm glad I didn't because that does appear to be part of it. Which is essentially where you put your, your iPhone. Or your phone, whatever phone you like really. Very, very, very well engineered <laughs> component. Uh, it feels really nice. So it's, it is definitely a metal. I don't know if you can actually see that there, which you probably can now. And there's the top side. This is what it looks like. Okay, hope you're getting all that and it's useful for you. Um, clip button, clip there at the bottom, and you slide it up to lock it in, and you pull it down to let it go. Um, let me have a quick look to see if I can put this battery in. Can it go in just one way? Yep, it only goes in one way. And there's the tab at the bottom that answers that question. Um, can you put it in upside down? You can put it in upside down the wrong way around. You can only get it one way though, it's a specific shape. Um, but anyway, metal at the top, obviously, because you can see the pins in there. Let's put that in there. That's clicked into place. That is now shut. Um, right, going for someone who doesn't have a clue what they're doing here, by the way. Uh, so let's see. Can I turn it on? No. Power. That battery may be dead, by the way. It does say charge it before first use. So, let me have another look. Mm, looks very nice, though. What I'm going to do is have a look at the quick start guide. 
that block, I would imagine, it's probably a good idea to keep hold of that. So when you fold this back up, to put it back in there where it was, which is there basically. I would imagine that's a good idea to keep hold of that. If you don't want to want to be careful of damaging the uh, thing when you put it back in. Um, right. Oh, it's falling out when I put it back in anyway, so maybe not. Maybe it won't keep that. And uh, power switch number seven. Power switch is there. Yeah, the battery needs charging then, basically, because um, it won't come on like it is currently. Dead as a dodo. Oh well. Right, well when I've done my trip that's from currently on, um, at that point I will be able to put it on charge and get testing with it I guess. Um, this I assume is the cap which covers the lens. There we go. It is. So that is the camera there. And okay, I'm gonna i going to turn off now, and I need to get that charged up, obviously. What a shame, I wanted to use that now. I wanted to at least have a bit of charge in it. And the battery comes back out easily. It's a little red tab there in the top, and it clicks into place. You just push that up, and then pull that out. And there you go. Well, I shall get that on charge. And you've got the mic, external mic, which is great, because I've got an um, Seinhauser, or whatever you pronounce their name, um, mics. So I can plug that external one in. Cool. Right, there you go. I think that's, uh, oh, that's the SD card in there, the micro SD, should I say, just there. It's already one in there. I think it comes with a 16 gig, if I'm right. Um, I presume. Oh, hello. That's quite nice. Nice and smooth. That locks it back in position. So you can lock it in position, and I presume then this whole head comes off. Wow, it does. So there you go, that's that part, and that's the part there. And let's see how easy this is to put back in. So you've actually got the circuit board at the bottom there. Two locating lugs, as you might call them, slots, whichever you want to call them. And that just goes in there like that, and then you just slide that collar around. Locks it back into position for you, so there you go. Right, I need to uh, charge up the battery. See you later. Right, all charged up. Um, interesting thing is, when you plug the battery into here, it's not plugged in, the light goes green. Um, and it stays green until you plug it in, and then it goes red if it's charging. When it's fully charged, it goes green. But when you unplug it, it stays green. I presume eventually you would discharge it if you left it plugged in or you had a power cut. So, take that out. Here's that. Throw that away. Let's boot it up. Okay, there's that piece I was talking about earlier. Throw that aside. Bing! I'm sure this goes in the right way around. Lock that back down. Right. Ooh, switching on. This tab here, pulling that off, William, um, sort of doesn't feel very comfortable. I think you need to brace the camera when you take it off, like so. And there we go. All right, that's booted up. Um, joystick doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. And, oh, that makes a phone noise, which is interesting. Right. Let's not read the manual and try and put this in here. If, oh, hello. That's good. Okay, that should come out of there. Lovely. Okay, that works. And then I'm going to log into the DJI app. The Zenmoose X3 gimbal and camera that comes with the Inspire 1 is currently not compatible with the Osmo handle. Do not install the Zenmoose X3 for Inspire 1 onto the Osmo. Do not attempt to update the Osmo firmware through the Zenmoose X3 camera for Inspire 1. If you have any questions, contact support.
there we go, uh, that's that, that's what I'd usually connect to with the app and then you can connect to that one so presumably I'd say connect, I don't know, how uh, to connect turn on the Osmo, turn on the Osmo, do not touch the gimbal, hold the handle still when the Osmo is starting up connect to the Wi-Fi now on your mobile device, connect to Osmo, blah 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 then launch the DJI Go app, hmm. okay one two three four. One two three four is the Wi-Fi password. Okay, must be connecting with Wi-Fi then. Uh, settings. This is how much research I've done into this. Uh, okay, Osmo does show. Uh, there's the Osmo. Just going to connect to it now. One two three four. One two three four. Join. And it's it says it's joined. It's joined successfully. Joined. Can't see that, but there we go. And let's relaunch the DJI Go app. Done that. Okay. Activate Osmo. Follow the instructions to activate Osmo if you're using it the first time. This requires an internet connection. Okay. DJI Go app. Done that. Enter camera view. There we go. So click camera. Activate Osmo. You also activate your one year warranty. Oh, sign in and or create an account. Hmm. Got to remember my password now, haven't I? Right. Let me go away and find out that. Okay. So it's successfully, not sure you can actually see this, so it's successfully activated Osmo. You press camera, tap here to see your flight records. Well, don't want to do that because it's not really a flight is it but and there we go so we've got we've got a view which is all cool gimbal locked please rotate gimbal to unlock okay gimbal locked please rotate gimbal sort of not locked mm -hmm. right, right mess this is uh, unlock is that way what's this push button do hey there we go Right, push button on the side. And now it's beeping at me. Why is it beeping? So I need to go and find the instructions, read the instructions, because uh, that just, it just does whatever it wants to do. Um, it's not actually doing anything. I am recording. The joystick does nothing. Pressing hold in the front button does Nothing. And now it's not sure what it's done. It's rebooted. It's turned off the. Okay. Okay. Now pressing the hold in the front button, it's turned it on. So that seems to be working. Hmm. Pretty cool. So it holds the position, basically. Time to do a test. Okay. Just a little preface to this video. Um, <clears throat> I've got back, I've been sat here and editing it for probably 15, 20 minutes and something's come very apparent. So I'm gonna stick this clip in front of all of the clips um, because I'm gonna have to apologize for the sound quality. Turns out that the inbuilt mic um, is hopeless, <laughs> as you will see. So if there's someone out there that knows how to get over this problem, please let me know. But at this point in time, my advice is get an external mic if you want to record any sound whatsoever and do not want the fan interference. So this is just a bit of a preface to the following clips and the following hands-on review. Okay, now in selfie mode, uh, the camera's just slightly off centre. I'll move it to centre, let me move it back again. Uh, I'm in the centre. Look at the camera now. I want to walk around. And this is what I'm doing. And I turn, and then it sort of doesn't follow me. Now I'm not sent back in, but I think it's more or less correct itself. So if I go, ah, I'm not going to do this, I'm going to turn around. And I sort of go out of shot for a second, and then it brings itself back in. Which is pretty cool. And if I go up a bit higher, it does point down. Turning a corner, the slope's going down. So this is just in, this is in selfie mode by pressing the front button three times. Um, and it should be 
removing the guttery wall. Hopefully it is. Um, the only thing is, if you really, really wanted to be on it, you'd have to be controlling that camera correctly. Um, so it sort of puts you out of shot if you move around. Um, if I try running, I think you've seen everyone doing the videos. Right around the corner. Whoa. Running. Soft and I'm not sure why. Um, bring, me, bring it back into me, which is good. Um, yeah, that seems to be working. That seems to be working okay. Can you press it once to bring it back round? No. Press it three times. That's salting over again. No! I must have to manually turn it around. Let's try that. Oh. Don't go any further than that. Just me again. Try that. Try to bring it basically down. Whee! Trying to bring it down to the. Uh, if I was to run, should cancel all that out. Just turn it around. Let's head back up this way. Boom. Okay, I'm now filming this with the mic that's inbuilt into the Osmo. Um, Goodness knows what it's going to sound like, and that's why the equipment looks like it's here the family, so I'm just doing this test. Okie dokie, let's test now the mics. See if they work. What you could really do with is a hot shoe attachment. And I've got a Sennheiser Heiser EW100G3. Um, the mic is on there and the input is there. Um, with the standard mic, the fan is on the back of the camera here and it picks up the camera noise, which is a bit strange. If you sit here and film like this in the quiet, you can hear the cameras, the, the fan is clear as day. So you've got one of those plugged in to there. Um, Power that up, and all I need to do now is just power this one up. Don't really do much testing on this. I'm going to put my phone back in. It only just fits this phone, by the way. Um, okay, let's boot this back up again. Whoa, what's it doing? Bit of calibration, I suppose. Uh, okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's a test. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Testing, testing. That works. Okay, home. Let's go to camera within the app. It's got a blank screen. Um, okay. Did something then. There we go. Let's boot it up. Right, this is the sound you can hear. It's that sound. I'm now recording on the mic. A little, 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 little bit too loud. Um, so that should give a good test of what it's like um, with the microphone on. So if I leave it over here, I should be able to turn it around and film the mic. There's the microphone. Hello, 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 hello. Test, 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 test. So that should work. Should do. All being well. Now, what you actually run the risk of, so here's the mic, um, and I suppose you could attach it here on the back somehow, um, but this kind of gets in the way of this button here. So you have to point it upwards. Of course, as soon as you point it outwards, you've got it could potentially foul the gimbal. Um, it comes around that way. It does, it does move past it, but it's just something to look out for. It's a very close, very close to it, and you could easily get it tangled up. But I guess you'd put a sticky pad on there. That's not too much of a bad layout. Um, it, it all sits on there quite nicely, and then you've got your external mic, uh, wireless, which is spot on. Should work okay.
Yes, so one other thing I wanted to check was plugging into here to read the micro SD um, card, which is currently in there, which you might just put to make it out just in there. Um, can't really access it without unlocking all the gimbal, etc. Unlock that one, unlock that one to move it around to get it out safely. So, um, got to plug into there. Now, an interesting thing, it doesn't come with that cable, which is a bit of a shame, but luckily I have the headphones. So I'm gonna use this cable. Um, so what I wanna see, the first thing is, the first question I suppose I have is, will this connect up as a drive when it's not on? Um, and there's no ding ding, so I'm assuming the answer to that is no. If I boot it up whilst it's in there, is that possible? Do you know why? Um, because I haven't even got a battery in there. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Put that in there. Okay. Like that. One handed, you can do that one. So. so. Okay, it's gone ding, ding, ding. So it's USB device not recognized. Um, not convinced it's gonna. Um, this PC. There we go, removable disk, memory cards. I think it's that one there, so I'm gonna have a quick look. Let's have a look. DCIM Media, that is it. There you go, that's a selfie of myself. Uh, yep, that's beautiful. Yep, so you need to boot it up, but you don't need to obviously unlock all the gimbals and stuff to actually access that, and then you can obviously access the card and whilst it's still in here, so that's pretty neat. But there's that fan that you can hear. Coming from there. Gotta boot that down, you should. There's that fan. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna rip everything off this now and uh, edit the video. Right, um, so that's that wrapped up. That's the overview, basic overview, first hands-on um, of the Osmo. So there's more to come because obviously as with all these things, it's a complex device. It's easy to use out of the box, but it's complex. You need to spend time with it, actually mess about with it, and really get to know what the product's about and how it works. So there'll be more videos um, when I've, I've got more opportunities to film other stuff, when it's not tipping down with rain outside like it is now. And I'm really gonna, I'm gonna be taking this everywhere I go with me, and I'm gonna see what I can produce and how easy it is to do and use it and, any little problems I have, um, then I'll obviously be doing other videos on this exact same thing. So that's just a basic, really, first hands-on experience with it. Um, now I've got to get myself learned on how to actually use it and use it properly. So I'm quite excited to do that. I think there's quite a few shots I can get which are going to be miles better than holding an iPhone or a DSLR or a camcorder. Camcorders, you don't see them very much anymore, do you? Anyway, uh, what I've, I've changed the settings on that to stop filming in 4K. It was filming in 1080, 46 frames per, for, for, yeah, I think it's 46 frames per second. It might be 48, I can't remember what the setting is now. Uh, because I have issues editing with my video editor in 4K, which is a bit annoying. I got uh, Vegas Movie Studio, I think it's called. Um, and it's the latest one, and it just does not like it at all. It does all sorts of weird stuff. I'm about to turn my iPhone off 4K. So there you go. Anyway, hope you uh, that there was a little nugget there somewhere for you to, if you're thinking of getting one. Uh, any questions, just comment below. Please like and subscribe, and I will try and answer those questions in the future. Any you might have. The other thing with that cable not being included, you can't really fit it in with the bag. You could do, but there's no place for a cable. So you could lay the cable on the inside just across it, I suppose, as you close it up. That shouldn't be a problem, but there isn't actually a specific place for any of the accessories to go on that bag. So it's probably an opportunity to go and buy a bigger bag at some point to fit that in. Um, or of course you can carry a kit bag with you and put your accessories in there, but it would be nice to have it all in one little unit. But there you go, cool.